little bit of mist coming down here from Viticon Stadium in Brisbane. Nothing you can't play through, though. Bandits lead the Heat 3-0 as we head to the bottom of the third. Brisbane trying to add on some more. Wind is doing some things with that, that mist, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it, it probably, it's a light mist, but the wind is making it a little bit irritating. Nothing too bad. The umpires will, will make an early call if required. Just looking at the radar, there is some stuff that's south of us, and there's stuff just, just off on, on the coast at the moment. Logan Wade. Behind the count, 0-2. Oh it's Wade, Bly Madris, Nick Kale, 4-5-6 and six in Brisbane's order. Tom Bailey, 41 pitches through two innings. He's surrendered three runs on already six hits to the Bandits. Bit of a quick pitch right there. Just went with a, a real short, deliberate movement. Quick score update. Aces of Melbourne and Canberra playing the Cavalry. At the end of four, Cavs lead 2-1. Oh. Wade launches that to right. Bojarski back at the wall. That ball is gone. Logan Wade, his first home run of the season, puts Brisbane up 4-0 in the third. We tell you what, uh, we talked about night game and, and time to put on a show. He got a pitch up in the zone, a little off-speed pitch. There's a no-doubter when he hit it. Again, Bennett's bats come to life here in the third. Now they lead 4-0 and bring Andy Kyle to the mound. That will be the end of the day for Tom Bailey. Goes two-plus innings. If you're Andy Kyle, you, you don't want the deficit to grow any larger. And you, you have some arms available in the bullpen at your disposal. And, and with an off day, everyone's got a day of recovery. And then that allow him to, to reload and then get ready for get ready for Saturday. 11 seasons in this league. This is his 124th appearance. He's thrown 485 innings. It's hard to find someone that's pitched more innings spent more time in the league than than schmidt no he, he's a workhorse and like i said he's he's been the face of this organization for a number of years and it's great to see him still competing had a chance to see him compete in the green and gold for for team australia in, in the first round of the qualification in japan and like i said he once again give him the ball and he knows what he has to do bly madris the left fielder starts off with the ball Big swing and a miss, one and one. Doubled in the first. That was the ball Bojarski lost in the sky. Didn't end up coming around to score. Tell you what, when it's early in the season and you're trying to find hits, you'll, you'll take them any way you can and the big thing is, Ben, it's, it's capitalizing on opportunities, and that's one thing we've seen from both the Giants and the, the Heat in the first two games of this Hub Series. They've been able to capitalize and maximize opportunities in the ball game. And Dan, if you're Andy Kyle, Daniel Schmidt's a good guy to turn to to stop the bleeding. Nobody's won more games in the relaunched Australian Baseball League than him, 39 of them. Crack to the left side, Glendinning diving but can't get to it. A base hit for Bly Madris. He's two for two on the day. And that's a really good at bat right there. It, it's always tough when you're first starting off, you start seeing left-handed arms. It's, it's a good sign when you see a lefty shooting the ball the other way just outside the dive of Glendinning for another base hit. So now he's two for two in this ball game, and that's a good start for him. Now it's Nick Kale, the right fielder, flew out to Bojarski his last time up. Big swing and a miss for strike one. One thing about Smith, you're not going to see a lot of velo, but same thing as Bly. He's going to give you different looks, different locations. 
he'll pitch backwards in counts and, and really relies on, on his location. Up the middle, Glendinning shovels to second, Ramirez to first, his throw is wide. Witherspoon tracks it down just next to the Bandits' dugout. So you get the out at second. They'll take at least one. Yeah, they'll take the one, and, and that's the main thing, is get that lead out. It'll change up right there, good feed. And that's where maybe the, the ball in the wet grass has played a little bit of havoc. Ramirez has been outstanding defensively, but no, no foul right there. We're able to get the lead runner, route number one. Wade Dutton, we mentioned his 199th game in the Australian Baseball League. Has a runner on first with one out. And if you want context as to, to just the, the impact that Daniel Schmidt has made in this league, I mentioned that he was first in wins. His 485 innings are at second all-time since the relaunch of the ABL in 2010. Can you take a guess as to who's first? Sydney's Craig Anderson has <laughs> 556 lifetime innings since 2010. It's, it's been a couple years since he's, he's stepped in the diamond, too. Yeah, it has. And, and I'll tell you what, if, if he could probably still roll it over. Orlando is tough. Um, great change-up. Great competitor. Got a chance to um, see him pitch for a number of years. Just like Daniel. And, and Smith's is so popular just because when we looked at that, that Perth Heat, uh, you know, dynasty when they won the four, this man on the bump was, was such a key factor to their success. He, like Wade Dutton, a guy that's been around this league for a long time. Back to the screen. We'll do it one and two once more. If you look at the rest of the top ten, there's some big names on that list. Anderson and Schmidt, one and two. Other players we've seen in this series, Ryan Searle sits fourth. Luke Wilkins sits seventh. Justin Erasmus, ninth on that list. All-time innings pitched since the relaunch in 2010. And once again, in all of them, you know, in their, their 10th and 11th season. So they have been very consistent for their organizations. One, two misses. It's two and two to Wade Dutton. Just looking at Wade overall, 674 at bats in the Australian Baseball League since he was called up in 2010. 22 home runs and 103 RBIs. Two, two. Crack to the left side, a base hit. Here's Wade Dutton's first hit of the season. Runners on first and second with one out. He does like playing on the big stage. I know he's come up with a number of big hits for the Bandits during their playoff runs. Once again, comes up with another big hit tonight. So Kale moves up to second. Dutton now on first. Daniel Schmidt in a little bit of trouble with Ryan Battaglia coming up. He homered his last time. That makes sense. Ford Proctor comes down. Quick chat with the veteran arm. They just might be checking signs with the man on second. Get a chance to see the home run last inning. Got a pitch up in the zone. And I'll tell you what, he did not miss it. No doubter. And that's deep into the night. He helps ignite this offense tonight. Man, it's leading for nothing. Big swing and a miss, 1-0. I should say the 1-0 moves to 1-1. One, one. If you're Daniel Schmidt here, are you living low in the zone, trying to get that soft contact ground ball? 
Right on cue to the shortstop, Glendini to second for one, Ramirez to first. Double play. Wow. That's for Mary. He's impressed both of them. Good, good turn by the middle. Dan Danny. Bandits lead 4 0 over Perth. Heat has some work to do offensively as we head to the fourth. Back in a bit from Viticon Stadium in Brisbane.